In this video, we'll be discussing about a special concept of nodal analysis, that is, nodal with dependent sources. That means, somewhere in the circuit, there will be a dependent source present. So, in this video, we'll be looking how to solve this kinds of problem. So, first of all, we'll discuss what is a dependent source and its types, and then we'll some numerical problems based on this concept. So, without wasting any time, let's start. <music> So before we start solving the questions, in this slide we will understand what is a dependent source and its types. So sources are basically can be classified into two parts that is independent sources, dependent sources. So what do I mean by independent sources? Independent sources mean that the magnitude of these sources doesn't depend on any other parameters in the circuit that is any node voltage or any branch current that doesn't depend on that. For example, this one this is an ideal voltage source and this is the ideal current source here the magnitude of this source is 10 volts only that is a constant value that doesn't depend on any other parameters and same for this one as well that is the magnitude of this current source is 10 amps that is a constant value that doesn't depend on any other circuit parameters so this is why we call these independent sources now what is a dependent source? A dependent source means magnitude of those sources depends on either on node voltage or any branch current. Okay, now this dependent source can be classified into four parts that is CCCS that means current control, current source. And dip another thing, dependent sources are denoted by this diamond shape. Right, now current control, current source. This is a dependent current source as because this is a diamond shape but this is current control that means the magnitude of this source depends on a current value magnitude of this source depends on this i1 i1 is what now i1 is the any branch current in the circuit now this this is also a current source but this is voltage control voltage control current source so the magnitude is how, what k into v1 v1 be any node voltage in the circuit right so that means the magnitude of this source depends on this voltage now this is a voltage source and this is a voltage source these two are dependent voltage source right now this is a current control voltage source current control means this is k a constant into some i that is i1 right so the magnitude of this source depends on this i branch current fine and this is voltage control voltage source that means the magnitude of this dependent voltage source depends on any voltage any node voltage that is v1 let's say now the questions that can be asked from this topic that is nodal with dependent source can be categorized into two sections or two types that is type 1 and type 2 now nodal with dependent source means somewhere in the circuit there will be a dependent source present so let us take this circuit for example in this circuit there is a dependent source this one is a dependent source right this is what this is a voltage control current source and this is what in this circuit this circuit also there is a dependent source present right so this is also a nodal with dependent source this is also a nodal with dependent source now the magnitude of this dependent source depends on what parameter vx right that means a voltage a node voltage so if in the question whatever the dependent source is given if the magnitude of that dependent source depends on any voltage then we will consider that to be of type 1 that is magnitude depends on node voltage so this question is of type 1 okay and what about this one in this circuit this is your dependent source and the magnitude of this dependent source depends on this ix value ix is what this branch current so if the magnitude of the dependent source depends on any branch current then we will consider that circuit to be of type 2 so let's solve a question what do you have to find out you have to find out the vx value now by just looking at the question we can see this is a dependent source problem this is a nodal with dependent source problem and the magnitude of the dependent source depends on this voltage so that means it's 
type 1 problem type 1 right now let's try to solve this question so we'll be applying nodal analysis only so what are the nodes this is our node that is our reference node and that is our non-reference node right now set a reference node and assign v is equals to 0 so assigning v is equals to 0 now assign node voltage in the remaining n minus 1 nodes so let's say this node voltage to be v right okay now step 2 says write nodal equation for n minus 1 nodes so here n minus 1 is what 2 minus 1 is equals to 1 equation because total number of nodes is how much 1 and 2 right so 2 minus 1 is equals to 1 equation we will be having 1 equation for this circuit if you apply nodal analysis over here so applying kcl at this node v minus 60 divided by 5 plus because this is an outgoing current we are assuming that the current will flow in this direction also in this case we will assume that the current will flow in this direction so v minus v minus 0 divided by 8 is equals to 0 0.04 vx because this is an incoming current right so this is our only equation now we can see in this equation we have two variables one variable is this v and another variable is this vx so by solving only one equation we can't find out two variables right so somehow we need to express one variable in form of other variable right so what we will be doing over here is always when the question is of nodal with dependent source then we have to express the node voltages in terms of dependent variable that means over here the dependent variable is what this vx so we need to express v as a function of vx right okay so if we somehow able to find out the current flowing in this branch that is through this 3 ohm resistor then we will be having the voltage drop across this 3 ohm resistor and then if we add these two you will get v value right in terms of vx so we have this voltage we have this resistance so we can easily find out this current flowing through that so this is what vx divided by 5 that is your point to vx right and this same current also flowing in this branch that is point to vx because these two are kept in series so as a result of that the voltage drop across this 3 ohm resistor is what 0.6 vx now then this is 0.6 vx this is vx both the polarities are same plus minus and then plus minus so v is your what v is 1.6 vx right now what we will be doing we will be just substituting this value in this equation that is 1.6 vx minus 60 divided by 5 plus 1.6 vx divided by 8 is equals to 0 0.04 vx this becomes what 1.6 vx divided by 5 plus this is 0.2 vx this one is equals to 0 0.04 vx and plus 60 divided by 5 that means 12 so if you just solve this you will be having 12 vx divided by 25 is equals to 12 so vx is how much 12 volts so always remember when the question is of nodal with dependent source what you have to do you have to express the node voltage in terms of the dependent variable now let's move to the next slide in this question we have to find out ix a dependent variable is dependent source is given so that means it's a problem of nodal with dependent source right now what is the dependent variable over here it depends on a current value that is a branch current so that is ix so that is why it the question is of type 
2 okay because here the dependent variable is what na current right so that is why it is type it is of type 2 now applying nodal analysis so uh, step 1 says what step 1 says identify all the nodes so node 1 node 2 this is our reference node assign v is equals to 0 to it and let us assign v for this node okay now write down the nodal equation at this node this is the incoming current that is ix this is the incoming current that is 3 is equals to what v minus 2 ix divided by 1 now because over here also n minus 1 equals to what 2 minus 1 that is equals to 1 equation so if we apply nodal analysis in this question we will only be having one equation but we can see that there is two variables that is v and ix these are two variables by solving a single equation we can't find out two variables right so again we somehow need to express the node voltage in terms of this dependent variable that is ix over here in the previous case type 1 it was vx in the previous case the dependent variable was voltage and in this case the dependent variable is current okay so over here what we need to do the same thing we have to somehow express this node voltage in terms of this dependent variable now when your dependent variable is ix and you have to find out this node voltage in terms of ix what we will do ix is already given so we can easily find out the this voltage drop across this resistance that is 2ix so what will be v v is equals to 10 minus 2ix now we'll be substituting this thing in this equation so if you substitute that becomes ix plus 3 is equals to 10 minus 2ix minus 2ix divided by 1 right so ix plus 3 is equals to 10 minus 4 ix so that means 7 is equals to 5 ix so your ix value is 7 by 5 that is your 1.4 amps so this question is for your assignment what you need to find out in this question is two things that is question number one is you have to find out which type of question is it what do i mean by that as we have discussed in this video that nodal with dependence source questions can be classified into two types that is either the dependence source is going to depend on some voltage that is type one or type 2 where the dependent source will depend on some current value right so similar way you have to find out which type of question is it that's question number one and question number two is you have to find out v naught value what is the value of v naught okay so what i want you to do is the very moment you are done with this video take a pen and a paper note down this question and solve this question on your own you can take reference from any book you need and let me know what answers you got down in the comments also after 24 hours i'll be writing down the correct answer for this question also in the comments and this is the end part of this video so thanks for watching see you in the next video